The West Michigan orthodontist now facing child pornography charges. Dr. Thomas Shannon, who has practices in Granville and Plainwell, faced a judge this afternoon. You say Stella Fergie was in court for his arrangement. Joe? Sue, Dr. Shannon has hired a lawyer. He also has a public relations firm working on his behalf. Sabo PR sent us a statement from Shannon's lawyer saying the doctor is cooperating with investigators. But tonight it appears it was the doctor's own efforts to clear his name that helped those investigators bring charges. On or about the date of August 1... Thomas Shannon, summer, DDS's journey to a Kent County courtroom began in September of 2021. According to court documents, Kent County Sheriff's detectives were contacted by a police department in North Carolina after a 17-year-old girl said Shannon connected with her over the Internet, asking her to send nude photos and videos of herself. She agreed. He allegedly paid her $150. He asked for more, specifically any taken when she was in the 8th or ninth grade. Kent County detectives interviewed Shannon at his Granville office. After providing some vague answers to detectives, Shannon ended the interview. We looked and took the case as far as we could. Unfortunately, at that point in time, we just couldn't uh, develop a case. But at some point after that interview, the doctor himself hired a computer forensic investigator to prove his iPhone and iCloud accounts were free of child pornography. They weren't. Shannon's forensic investigator soon reached out to sheriff's investigators to report he'd found a large amount of child pornography on Shannon's iCloud account. Many of the images were of children 12 and younger. We were able to secure some search warrants, and as a result, we obtained the hard drive of uh, the suspects, as well as the access to his uh, an account online, if you will, in the cloud. That there is probable cause. The search warrant also showed Shannon had been reaching out to known minors online for sexually explicit pictures and videos. Today, he was charged with eight felonies related to viewing and sharing child pornography. His bond was set at $200,000. He would need to come up with 10% to get out of jail. The judge also ordering Shannon has no contact without adult supervision with anyone under the age of 18, including his own children, ages 1 and 3. Because I'm not going to have you be involved with any children without adult supervision. But the adult supervision rule also applies to patients meaning he could return to his practice while the case makes its way through the courts. At this point, however, we do not have any information that there are any um, victims locally. That said, there are likely a lot of parents tonight whose children saw Shannon as patients that will want to talk to their kids to make sure they weren't victims. The undersheriff's advice to those parents, be very careful how you approach the discussion. Because it is important that they don't ask leading questions and that they don't plant a, a, a thought or an event in their, their loved one's minds. Well, the undersheriff says if you're not sure about how to have that talk with your kids, there are experts that can help. He suggested reaching out to the Sheriff's Department or the Children's Advocacy Center of Kent County. We have contact information at woodtv.com.